In September of 2018, I had made uh, $10,000 and it was like $2,500 every single week, like $500 a day. And I was like, yep, like this is it. And from there, it's just been uh, profitable every single month since then. What's up, Tim Sykes, millionaire, mentor, and trader here with three of my youngest and top, I would say, upcoming uh, challenge students. We just finished May. We got Matt Monaco in the blue. He made 48,000. We got Kyle with his hat backwards. He made 32,000. And then um, we got uh, <laughs> Jack. I was, gonna, I was gonna say something funny, but I'm, I'm, just, gonna, right I'm just gonna introduce him as Jack, uh, who made 70,000 last month. I made a little over 100,000 last month. It's good times right now. Um, just wanna you know, intro you guys uh, to you know, my audience. Just tell me like about yourselves and you know what you've been doing to be successful um, in this market because you know never forget ninety percent of traders lose. Uh, we recently had uh, you know a crash off the highs in the overall market, but we have actually been doing better than ever. So one at a time, what has you been your uh, secret to success and how is uh, how has it gone for you? Uh, I'll get started. Um, so I joined the challenge uh summer ish 2017 so it's been basically three years for me now uh, but recently the success uh, i've seen a lot has come from talking to other successful students of yours like jack and kyle learning from their journeys uh this past month otcs really started popping off um and i've studied those otc breakouts a lot and what jack and kyle both did when their accounts were small to grow to a hundred thousand so I kind of focused on that part of their journey, studied it. Uh, and if you like, I, Jack and I were talking about this, if you compare my May to his February of last year, they're like super similar. Uh, we were in super similar places, which I think is really cool. Uh, so that's where I am. I'm just just under 100,000 uh, right now by about $1,000 or so. So that's where I am in my journey. Cool. You're gonna throw a party when you hit 100,000? Uh, maybe virtually. Uh, I don't, can't really invite anybody over. <laughs> But, well, no, I cool. mean, we were, we were doing a video a few weeks ago and or a few days ago and you were you were having a beer like mid filming. So I was yeah. that did happen you don't have to be shy. About it. it was a little bit of a sloppy episode, but it's fine. <laughs> I thought it was a good episode. It calmed the nerves It made it easier. I was trash the first time I was on CNBC. I was so nervous, like I could barely see the camera. I took four shots of tequila and I was like, you know, they're asking me like it's on YouTube. You can see me. Like, you know, they're like, oh, what's your biggest loss? I'm like, I lost 180,000 in a day. And then there was another guy on with me and they're like, what's your biggest loss? And he's like, big, not that big. And it was like, you know, so whatever, whatever helps. Liquid courage. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Kyle, why don't you go? Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I watched the movie The Big Short which made me realize like what went down in 2008. And that's when I started Googling around, you know, what was trading, what was investing. And then I found, you know, I found Tim on, on Google. And at first, you know, of course, like I'm sure most of you are, you're skeptical, you know, but after watching so many videos and so many, you know, trades and posts publicly, you know, I, I pretty much realized like there was information for me to learn and to get value from. And so I decided I joined this challenge in summer 2016. So this is actually, I think the end of June is my fourth year, I guess, anniversary, if you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I've been studying almost every day, all day ever since. And in just last week, I crossed uh, 250,000 in, in profits. So keep nice. on going. That's cool. I like the big short too. That was a, that was actually surprisingly an educational movie. Like they had like yeah. specific lessons. I remember they had like, you know, celebrities come in and give like a lesson on like what a, a financial term was. And I was like, yep. what, what is this a movie? Like what's going on? So I'm glad that that, uh, that movie turned you on to shorting and just looking at the markets differently. I can't tell you how many people think like, oh, the only way to make a lot of money in the stock market is to invest in good quality companies. But that's such a crowded strategy, especially after you know, a decade plus long bull market. So yeah. you gotta think a little different and I'm, I'm excited to see what you can uh, accomplish more of. Me too. <laughs> For me, I got started in January of 2017. And for that entire year, I was just kind of working my valet job, saving up money and studying. Got started full-time trading in um, January of 2018 while continuing my job. 
And I started short selling off um, the rip because I saw Steven Dox and Mike Cuddy and all these guys making money. And I basically just broke even because I had a broker that required a lot of capital and it was a lot in fees. And I basically just went sideways for a while. And then I restarted with about 29,000 after taking a couple month break. And I started trading OTC longs and I was able to make my first 100,000 doing that. And, you know, I met a trader named Dom. I kind of traded with him for uh, all of last year and I was just able to you know, eat, sleep, and breathe trading. So I was able to learn a lot of knowledge last year. And then the key for me this year is just being able to be more versatile because now I've um, learned a lot from Kyle, who is mainly short biased, and Kyle is a conservative short seller. So once I kind of learned knowledge from Kyle and not from like aggressive short sellers who flash these huge profits on um, Twitter and all this stuff, once I started learning from him, I was able to learn shorting and going long, and then it's just been compounding, uh, using a little bit more risk this year, rather than like $200 to now like three to $500 per trade, and it's been adding up very quickly this year. And I've just been sticking to the same patterns that Tim Sykes teaches. It's literally just a seven step framework where I'm looking for the breakout, I'm looking for the, the first red day, the dip by the first green day. And I'm just going through the cycles of the, the volatility and just trying to capitalize on um, every play with small risk and then just let the edge add up and get the result of just under 450,000 in um, just a few years. So let's keep it going. That's awesome. No, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, you know, and I thank you guys for, you know, having the right mindset, like, you know, small trades adding up. Um, if you could just talk about, you know, how has the challenge helped you, um, you know, find your favorite strategies? Because I think a lot of newbies need help um, just understanding, like, what's a good strategy, what's a bad strategy. And, you know, we, we tailor the challenge specifically all about, like, through video lessons, DVDs, webinars, you know, the community, um, really to try to help you hone in on what you're best at. So what are your, your favorite strategies and, and lessons that, you know, you could pass down to others? For me, uh, I'd say the OTC breakout is just super awesome. There's a ton of video lessons on it, but specifically Tim Grittani's DVD, the, he's got an entire chapter to it. And I, I mean, I probably, over the years, I've watched that, I don't even know, 25, 30 times, just that specific chapter on OTCs. Um, but in order for me to find that, I kind of started... Uh, with just your DVDs, like Penny Stocking, Penny Stocking Part Duh. Those were like the first ones I watched. And you talked about breakouts a lot in there. And then over time, I graduated, uh, watched the video lessons to like Kirtani's DVD, which is a little more advanced and complicated. Um, and watched that one. And I mean, I love that DVD. I'll still watch it today. Like if I get bored, I'll go back to that chapter. Nice. I, uh, for me, the, the DVDs and the challenge were very solid because it gave me a very firm base like to kind of start my learning curve, right? To just get everything, you know, building a foundation of all the knowledge I need to know. And then once I finished the DVDs, I then went to the video lessons and started from just video lesson one up to, you know, the four or 5,000 that you had at the time when I, when I got to the, the end. But what, what attracted me to OTC short selling, which was kind of my first biggest, like really main, main strategy that made me a lot of money was that the, you know, Tim's first 1,000 to 2,000 video lessons were back in, 2011, 2012, 13, 14, when OTCs were huge, right? There were so many OTC, small OTC runners. There were so many other uh, promotions. And so, you know, unfortunately that's not as active as it is. I mean, May was pretty active for once after we've had like a pretty slow year, but that all those video lessons along with the base education from the DVDs allowed me to really find out that I enjoyed the short selling these, some of these OTCs. Um, so even today, that's still kind of my favorite strategy. So that's how I kind of figured out myself. Uh, for me, it was just, you know, accumulating every single piece of knowledge that I possibly could and then just not knowing how to apply the knowledge properly. Where I'd studied all of 2017 and I got to witness the hot sectors and I got to mess up, you know, executing on, you know, tiny positions and, you know, I felt all these things and it just, I didn't understand that, you know, you know, you need to start with going long before you can go short. And that's really was the, the key for me was, you know, learning the long patterns first. And then once I've built up 
um, a big account, then wiring some money out and learning the short patterns and now just being able to, to do both and that can um, add up even more. So it's all just about the process of how you're going to you know, use the knowledge that you have learned and just applying it properly. No, I'm glad you brought up you know, that word process. I use it a lot. I say this is a marathon, not a sprint. You have to find your own favorite patterns. You have to learn from your mistakes. Um, I'm curious with each of you, you know, why did you continue with your education? Because you're all finding success now. You know, like, you know, Kyle making 32,000 last month, uh, Matt making 48,000, and Jack making 70,000 last month. I made 105,000. But at the same time, I've been doing this 20 plus years. What helped you get to this point in your career and in your education? Because I find that, you know, the number one problem that a lot of newbies have is that in the beginning, obviously, it's tough. You're trading with a small account. You don't know the terms. The stocks are moving very fast. You're not finding much success. How did you uh, stick with your education? What propelled you to keep going forward to help you get to this point? Yeah, uh, I mean, it is super complicated and overwhelming in the beginning. But for me, seeing all the successful students, um, and you've had multiple waves of them over the years, like Roland was really taken off when I first started and seeing his process. And then the last couple of years, that, uh, Jack, Dom, and Kyle, took off and just knowing that it's possible. And even at the time, like if I was losing, say I had like a $200 loss, I knew eventually if I stuck with it, seeing them post multiple thousand dollar gains, like in the grand scheme of things, even though I lost $200 on a trade, if I kept studying, I knew it'd be possible to make up for that trade many times over down the road. I just had to get to the point where I finally understood uh, the patterns and just how I, everything I need to know about trading. So that's was my motivation. Cool. I, I I found trading at a kind of a good time where I was already on this journey of like self-discovery of what I wanted because I, I was about a freshman or sophomore in college. So I had to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. And so once I found trading, like nothing else excited me as much as trading did. So when I whenever trading got tough or because of course we're all going to experience pain from losses and all those hard lessons. And when I did experience those, I, I immediately thought of like the alternative, like, okay, well, what would I do other besides trading? And there just, there just wasn't, there was nothing else in my life. And even now that excites me as much as trading does. So, so I, I rather endure the pain if that means that passion would come continuously every day than going to work at it like some nine to five that just doesn't excite me. Uh, that was a huge drive for me. You know, what were my alternatives and there really weren't any. So. Cool. Yeah, I basically agree with Kyle there. I, I didn't even go to college, so I had literally no other option but to make trading work. Um, and I was just so obsessed with it and so in love with learning and just, I saw it and I knew, and you know, my family and friends told me it's impossible to trade stocks, it's impossible to make money, it's gambling and all this stuff. And I physically saw it with my own eyes. I saw people executing patterns. I saw the process over and over again. And I just had enough self-belief to outweigh the hate from other people because I knew deep down that it was a hundred percent possible if you just put in enough work and you stick with it. No, I like the belief and that, you know, that brings up another good point. Like, was there one point where, you know, obviously you guys are making, you know, 20, 30, 50, 70,000 in a month. You're, you're, I mean, that's the group, right? Like with penny stock trading, you're not necessarily going to make a million in a month, but if you can make tens of thousands or even a few hundred thousand, um, it adds up nicely over time. But was there like an aha moment? Um, not, not even necessarily based on, you know, profits, but like something where, it clicked like did you guys do any one good trade where you know even if you made like a hundred dollars i mean i remember my first a hundred thousand dollar profit as a freshman in college on isco was a perfect weekend play and i was like that was an aha moment for me where i'm like oh my god i can make an entire like yearly salary for like a doctor or a lawyer and i'm you know as a freshman in college like you know downloading illegal movies on merc like i can't even get into bars and I'm like, I had three fake IDs taken away from me and I made a hundred plus grand in one day. And I was, it just opened my mind up to the potential with trading. And now I've had several hundred thousand dollar days, but did you guys have a moment like that by any chance? For me, uh, I started a podcast called beyond the PDT. I've talked about this a couple of times, but being able to actually talk to the traders, like, cause you see the videos, you see their video lessons, their interviews they almost don't seem real, like real people, but actually talking to them and knowing their story, what they went through and just 
understanding that they are in fact real people uh, just, you know, confirmed that it was possible. And that was kind of my aha moment. And I mean, weirdly enough, that was like over a year ago. And then I just kept working hard and success kind of just has been sneaking up on me throughout 2020 because I just laid the foundation the last couple of years, just talking to people and studying all the patterns. So that was for me, Kyle. I had, I had a, like kind of, I had a profit related realization like that and a nonprofit realization. The first one was nonprofit where I realized I'm almost, I almost have to watch myself and my own psychology more than I have to watch this, a stock move, right? It's every, anyone can learn price action. Anyone can learn a setup if you put enough time to it, but the people who can manage themselves and their emotions and how they manage a trade plan in real time, that was kind of the, I feel like they're the part of trade that's a lot rarely ever acknowledged. And so once I realized that I almost started observing myself more than I was observing the trades uh, and watching my emotions. That was a huge, you know, mental shift for me. Uh, the second one was when, right, when I decided to quit my, my part-time job as a waiter, because that was my main source of income uh, in April, was it 2019? I made more in that month than I have made all year working at that job. So at that point it was just like the, the epiphany of the, the opportunity that this can bring. And I was like, Whoa, um, so that was just a huge, another just huge shift of what's possible. Cool. Uh, for me, uh, as you guys know, I, I started short selling 2018 and that's when I, I had some profits, but a lot were taken in fees and I took the big loss. And then that's kind of when I had to figure out myself and just my emotions and stuff. And then that's when Dom really helped me out and showed me some things and I just got to kind of watch him trade and just seeing how quickly he would cut losses and then that was just kind of engraved in me and like how like you can just cut and just get back in if it, you know it, it doesn't do what you want and then in September of 2018 I had made uh, $10,000 and it was like $2,500 every single week like $500 a day and I was like yep I'm like this is it and from there, it's just been uh, profitable every single month since then. And, you know, some months are way better than others. Some months are very, very small where I've just made a few thousand dollars. Like last summer, it was really just a grind of me, you know, making a few thousand. But I was learning so much knowledge that had set me up for this uh, 2020 market. So, you know, it, even if you're not making money at some point, you're still learning so much knowledge that you might not realize. No, I love all those answers. I mean, it, it is a combination of, you know, the money, uh, the introspective part of this game where, you know, you have to be disciplined enough to cut losses, to learn what your favorite patterns are, to take the profits. Um, and then also, you know, this is what I love about the challenge. Like trading is a very lonely thing on its own. And, you know, you could just literally be, you know, separated from everybody. And that's how I was like, you know, when I was my whole trading career and I was like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm making money, I'm profiting, I'm learning, but I have no one to share it with. Like, I, I, I can't talk to anybody about this. Like, people are like, what, you made a hundred grand in a day? Like, what are you talking about? And I tried to explain the setup and they didn't understand it. They're like, you basically got lucky. And I'm like, no, it's a predictable pattern. So just being able to talk about it, I mean, that's frankly why we created the challenge. And I'm glad that, you know, you guys are, are learning from other people in the challenge and they're helping inspire you. Um, two final questions. Uh, one, I'm just curious, like what your friends and what your family think, um, about your success. And obviously, you know, you guys are just beginning, but I think it's, it's become apparent to you that when you make 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 70, 80,000 in a month, um, you know, the future is bright if you can stay humble and you stick with it. So what are your, what do you say to like your friends and family, especially, uh, you know, you Jack, where like people like doubted you in the beginning. Um, I, I don't like to brag too much about, um, just like, I won't like go to people and just be like, I made XXX today, but like, you know, if somebody asks, like, I don't mind telling them my numbers and, you know, I post some of my stuff sometimes so people see, but you know, a lot of people, they just like, won't like, uh, engage in the subject with me. Like, and I won't engage in the subject either if they don't want to talk about it. Like, if you don't want to talk about it because it's going to make you um, you know, like embarrassed because I'm making this much money or whatever. And I feel like that's how like a lot of my friends feel like it is. So like, we just really don't talk about it too much. Well, what about the people who doubted you? Do you're, are you like, uh, yeah, how's your Thursday? I made uh 6,000. You still doubt me today? No, I, I don't really rub it in to be honest. It just, you're so mature. Wow. I wish I was that mature. 
Yeah, I, I don't know why. I just don't feel a need to rub it in because, like, even – like I said, like, they didn't really affect me when – I wasn't making money when they doubted me because like I said, I just like know deep down like exactly what I'm doing and I trust myself and I trust the process and I just keep doing showing up every day because it's what I like doing and you know, the money is nice at the end of the day, but I really just like good trading and just trying to get better each day and just working towards, you know, financial freedom eventually. Nice. Can you show your chain real quick? Just cause like this, you're cut off a little bit too, so like people can't see. Right, like, oh you. damn! Oh, oh, I'm blinded. Huh? Wait, are you guys still there? I can't. <laughs> wait, I can't see. Hold on. Nah, the Rolex is re reflecting uh, the light back to me and right. just blinding me. Boom! No, it's you know, it's listen. It's fun to reward yourself with nice things. I mean, for me, it's not even about the money that I make for myself. Like. I'm proudest of the fact that, you know, my charity has now built 70 schools around the world. You know, I'm proud of the fact that I bought my parents their own place in Miami. I've, I've enjoyed myself. I have, you know, all the toys and the cars and the trips and stuff like that. But um, for me, you know, helping others has been more fulfilling, you know, and that same thing with teaching. Like I, I don't just teach, you know, because I like have to, but because I want to, like I love, you know, what these lessons and what this community has done for you guys. Yeah, it really has just built a really solid connection of friends and just mentors as well. Um, super grateful for the Tim Sykes community. I mean, I wouldn't be here without it. So, so, so my my friends in the beginning of it all were pretty pretty supportive. They they didn't you know my friend my I have my core group of guy friends. We've always been very supportive of each other, whatever we want to do in our in our careers. But they, I knew they didn't understand what I was doing. So they just kind of said they were supporting me like on the side. They didn't discourage me, but they really had no idea what I was doing. Uh, now, most of them follow me on Twitter. So they do see my progress. They do see, you know, my transparency. And it's funny, this, this whole pandemic kind of got, has gotten them interested in it just because they've almost the same way, the way I was shocked by 2008 with the, the big short and the movie, like educating me. This pandemic really kind of, I think, opened their eyes to like what's, what is even going on with the economy and all this. So now they're kind of interested. They're asking me questions here and there, but I don't, most of them aren't too much into trading where they would actually do it. Like I do it. Uh, but in terms of my family, my dad was definitely uh, the biggest discouragement. He just didn't think it was a stable. I mean, it's not, a, I wonder if they were stable, but he just didn't think it was going to be something that I can consistently pull profits out of the market. Uh, you know, my first profitable month, I made like $130 and he just, he just looked at me like, are you serious? You know, but he didn't understand the process of like, this will turn into $13,000 in, in a year. Uh, and so now I, now when he asks, I tell him kind of with a little, little, I don't brag at him, but I just a little chip on my shoulder. Cause he, you know, he, I make it, I make a point to him that what he told me a year ago is not the same as now, you know? Yeah. Uh, and you no, know, but now he's fully supports me. He totally understands that I can easily, uh, live off my profits and, and he knows I'm conservative. So I have plenty of money saved to, to do that. So he, he's on board. Nice. Uh, for me, yeah, I'm don't I'm with Jack. I don't really talk about it a lot. I have a couple of close friends I talk to it with, and once, especially after last month where I had the really big month, I think it more inspired them than anything. Just seeing firsthand that it is possible to uh, have those trading uh, have those trading results. And in terms of my family, I mean, they've always been supportive, and I think they're just you know excited and glad to see the results like my parents helped me pay for the challenge when i first started it um and i think yeah they're just excited uh, i mean my dad asks me stock questions all the time now <laughs> so it's really cool uh i have fun with it no that's cool i you know i, I appreciate your guys honesty and, and you know i don't think that it is good to you know necessarily rub it into anybody else but it is pretty cool just to like you know think about like different ways of making money because this you know never was possible just a few years or a few decades ago. I mean, we didn't have these low cost brokers and now commission free brokers. Um, and I'm, I'm just really excited, you know, to see what's possible when, you know, more people do start seeing it, you know, with their friends. Like I've had uh, new challenge students join because, you know, their friends are doing well and they want to learn too. So whatever it takes to, to get people to actually study, you know, it's like the carrot, like, why do I show off, you know, my, my cars is to get people to study, to show them what's possible. And then once, you know, they talk to people like you guys who are real and it's not like just some like fake, you know, testimonial. Like there are some websites like Robert R made this much and it's like, 
show me like all the screenshots, show me all the trades, show me all the details. And that's what I love about you guys. Like you're not just, you know, profiting 10, 20, 30, 40,000. We're seeing every single trade, whether it's 500, whether it's a loss of like 30 bucks. And I think it's important for people to see, especially in the beginning, like Tim Gratani is now over 11 million in profits. But if you look back at his early trades, literally he's making or losing 10 or 20 or $30. Like some of his uh, losses, like he lost like $12 on one trade and he describes it as like a trading implosion. And it's, it's fun to, to look back, especially now that he's made so much money, but that's how it should start. You should start trading small. You should start focusing on the education and learning in the beginning, then scale up six months, nine months, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months in, because this is you know not just something that you do for like a year or two, and it's not like something that you have to do like sports in your youth to make it to like the NBA by age, you know, 25, like most traders, most investors are amazing in their 40s, 50s, and 60s after they have a lot of experience. So I think that is good that you guys all got started at such a young age. And now, you know, by the time you guys are going to be 30, you're going to think of yourselves as like veterans and people are going to be like, what? Like, how, how do you know so much? You're like a 30 year old. And then, you know, you guys have been doing it for like a decade or so. It's pretty cool. So last question, um, what are your plans? You know, just give people a taste of your mindset right now because you've all made roughly six figures. Um, and it's, it's a question like, how do you see this going forward? And it's also gonna be fun to look back, uh, you know, one, two, three, five years from now and see what you said, you know, in the future. So what do you guys think um, you're gonna do now with your money and, you know, the strategy? What are your plans? I'm saving as much as possible, trying to create a big nest egg uh, right now. And just basing my journey off, you know, Jack, Kyles and Dom's, like they went through, especially last summer, a really dry period. So whether we have it or not, that's kind of what I'm anticipating. So I'm prepared, you know, if the market slows down to just expect smaller months, less plays, um, but definitely going to keep studying. And, you know, when fall comes and Odds are the market will pick back up again in the fall. I want to be ready to attack it with, you know, my full mental capital and full confidence. So Do you plan, you plan on getting a tan ever or no? Are you? I live in upstate New York. It's sunny like two weeks of the year. So I, it's just where I live. I can't help it. <laughs> and now you have the financial freedom to get out of, you know, the polar vortex. It's true. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm, Thinking about moving down south uh, so I can get some more vitamin D. I probably have like a deficiency or something. Yeah, I mean, there's no right or wrong answer. I'm just curious because, yeah. you know, I, like, I want people to see that these are real people that I'm talking to and not ghosts. So, you know, like, so people can realize like, oh, wait a minute, I don't think I can do that. He's only a ghost. So yeah. the more real that you can be, the better, I think. Absolutely. Yeah, I also have, I still have a full-time job. Uh, luckily, I can do most of it remotely so it doesn't really impact my trading at all um but that's not going anywhere i i mean i i really like my job i love what i do so i'm just gonna stick with it and it's working right now and i had a full-time job during my biggest month ever so i see no reason why i still can't do both of them going forward. good plan yeah man if you come out to california here we'll, we'll tan together right <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a plan all right <laughs> Uh, for me, I, I graduated uh, college in early May, so so at this point, you know, I'm I'm an I guess an adult now that I'm graduated. I don't I don't have any plans to get a full time job. You know, trading. I love trading way too much. Uh, you know, I just want to keep trading. I think the million is certainly possible in the next one, two, three years. Uh, so I'm going to keep doing that, and and even a million is not the the pinnacle top. Like I just I really plan on trading for the next. 10, 20, 30, as long as I can do it, I'm going to keep doing it. So that's absolutely the, the plan going forward. So I didn't know. So you and Matt both graduated college like a few days ago and you both had a record profit month, like literally yep. the month that you're graduating yep. college, you're making 32 grand and Matt made 48 grand. Like that's, I hope you understand that's like the yearly salary of your professors. Yeah. Same. That's nuts. Well, yeah, and I remember that Mike Cuddy also made like 20 grand the week that he graduated shorting um, like SMRT or something like that. So I mean, I, I missed my college graduation for a trade. I made over $10,000 and they called my name twice and I wasn't there. So I think there's, there's something special about like senior year of college. I don't know. It's interesting data. We need, we need to revisit that more. But 
you know, Jack, you didn't even go to college and you made 70 grand last month. So maybe you don't need college. Yeah, I just um, I just saw myself wasting money on college and just kind of partying and not really taking the classes seriously and, you know, spending $100,000 in debt. And then, you know, you waste four years where you think you're getting educated on how to, you know, make money and financial, but you're really not. And you're just kind of learning just regular academic, same as high school kind of thing that I think in my opinion, and luckily I've been able to get ahead of the curve and my friends are just graduating college now. And, you know, what are they really going to do since the COVID um, is out there and it's going to be a lot harder to find jobs, in my opinion. So I'm super blessed. And my plan basically is just to keep doing what I'm doing. And I don't have any plans to spend any amounts of money right now. I just keep a couple thousand dollars in my bank account so I can pay for my bills. And I just compound my, my trading accounts. And Did you say bills or your grills? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> So I could pay for my bills and grills. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's basically just my plan and it's just to keep trading. And I don't even want to size up too much right now. Like I just had a few of my best months ever. So um, I'm just going to probably size down, like Matt said, in the summer and just expect slower months so I can have the mental capital to go for the end of the year. And then next year, um, reevaluate and kind of see where I'm at for the year and then size up next year and see what we can do next year and just keep taking it one trade at a time, one day at a time, you know, one month at a time, one year at a time. So beautiful. No, congratulations to all of you. You know, it's not just about the money. Like you guys have the right mindset. You're all very humble. Um, you're all very studious. So I'm excited. And, you know, I want you to keep taking it one trade at a time. Some markets will be better than others. You know, we're right now we're filming this in a very good market. But, you know, I think all of us are a little burnt out. So if the market is, is not so hot this month, that's okay too. Um, but that's what this is. It's a lifelong skill where you, you know, have the knowledge and you're prepared in good markets and bad markets. So it's not a question of if there's a play, it's when is the next solid play and will you be prepared? And I'm excited, you know, to see uh, what you guys can accomplish because your preparation is impeccable and, you know, I wish more students had that mindset. So thank you for taking the time. Congrats on all the success. And I'm excited to see what you guys can uh, keep doing from, uh, you know, from now on. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. Thanks for, Thanks for having us.